So in a very bizarre, mentally deficient way of thinking that this is going to solve racism in America, you have uh, more gaming companies deciding to remove the concept of race from the fantasy universe and making it purely aesthetic. I spoke with Arch about what he thinks about Age of Wonders 4, and it's kind of the same like my conclusion. It does everything that Age of Wonders should do, but it doesn't have the charm. And I thought about, like, why doesn't it have the charm? And first of all, there's no campaign, which is a big negative, in my opinion. Uh, but I could live without it. The second one is that races are just cosmetic. So as this person points out, while they look really cool, and I really love that you can highly customize your starting race with the help of magic and transform them into totally different beings... It still feels honestly quite disappointing that the races have absolutely no differences from each other. In my opinion, it would have been so much cooler if the game would have been a bit more faithful to the common fantasy lore, so that orcs at the start would have a better fighter, elf would have better mages, and so on. This would allow people to customize the race from the start towards whatever you want, so that you can have almost the immortal tanky elves in late game, if you enhance them enough, magic, etc. But forcing every single race to play exactly the same, even including their units with the exception of tiny perks that you would uh, realize that they exist after the first 10 turns, at least for me, kills the sense of exploration. Such a wasted potential, in my opinion. And uh, I do think that this person has a point, and many people in the comment section completely agree with this decision that it's terrible. I mean, the the concept of races itself was never just aesthetic. Like, in, in fantasy... The idea of race isn't the same like uh, we have here that, you know, it's like a black person or a white person. No, no, no. Race in fantasy, like the difference between a dwarf and an elf, is like they're completely different creatures. It's like they're different species. And they are supposed to, to have different traits and characteristics, so it creates drama in the story. Because that's the whole point. Like when you play Age of Wonders 2, Shadow Magic... You have the different races, which are at odds with each other. However, the shadow demons are coming, so they have to find a way to put their bickering aside in order to fight the greater threat, and it creates interesting drama and interesting story. The same thing can happen when you look at Lord of the Rings. You have the dwarves and the elves, which despise each other, but they have to put their differences aside and work with Boromir and all the others in order to fight against Sauron. And at the end of the day, the Gimli and the Legolas manage to become best friends. So you do have like an interesting uh, setting to create drama, to create tension, um, to, to explore different fictional races. I mean, if you look at Total Warhammer, the grudges that the dwarves have is very iconic. And they would lose that if the dwarves would behave exactly the same way like humans do. And I noticed that uh, they did this with Star Trek Picard, especially in Season 1 and Season 2. The humans, the Vulcans, and the Romulans, they're pretty much just humans. I I mean, sure, they're alien creatures that have elvish wings, but they're cosmetic at that point. And it robs the universe of its charm. I noticed that this is happening a lot with uh, many sci-fi movies recently. And even Star Wars. Like, like when they make Star Wars, they're like, oh my god, we're so diverse. Like, uh, look, we we got this... uh, uh, black lady, and we got this Asian chick, and they do the same with Star Trek, but in reality, it's like, you're in space, and you don't have aliens, like, where are the aliens, why aren't you focusing on making new and interesting characters, um, I think it's like Star Trek New Worlds called, right, like, Arch was shilling it, and I looked at it, and it's like, there's only two aliens on the whole ship, like, wh- why do they do that, why-, why do they not create interesting characters if it's sci-fi, I mean, the, the whole purpose of the genre is to let your imagination run wild. And it's the same thing uh, with fantasy. But since Dungeons and Dragons came out with the concept of, oh, well, uh, we, we need to fix racismus in the United States of America, and therefore we can't have orcs being violent, we can't have dark elves being slavers, I see more and more companies following that line of thinking And it's robbing the game of its charm. Like, there is something that should be there, and it's not. And you you just don't notice it, but, like, I think the more you think about it, the the more likely it is. Um, 
and and the races themselves, you know, they like this person says that they're good looking. I I don't think they are. I genuinely do not think they are good looking. Like if you want to see good looking, play a South Korean game, and you're going to find good looking. But, uh, yeah, so people are saying that it's a terrible decision. Kill the game for me. You know, like, like many people are pointing this out. The whole point is to use your imagination to design the faction of your dreams. The developer setting anything in stone runs contrary to that. Yeah, but, like, Age of Wonders 3 still allowed you to create your holy goblins if you wanted to. But the goblin race had lore. Like, it was different than the other, and it had traits. And it was a completely different experience. This uh, game, exactly like this person is saying, uh, you play feudal orcs. So you, you get to choose your race, and then you have like the, um, uh, the the type. I guess you can have them feudal, you can have them uh, mages, you can have them necromancers. Uh, but at the end of the day, that is the actual race. Right? So like the, the feudal race is the thing. And the, the actual race becomes cosmetic. So, yeah. It, 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 and, the, and there's another problem with the game, by the way. Um, many people are pointing it out. The magic system, right? So, eventually, according to what people are saying, I haven't played that much. But eventually, you can get access to all of the magic. And that is not good, because you end up in the end game at the same place where everyone else ends up, if that's the case. So I, I really hate like these games that allow the power creep to go to the point where it doesn't really matter which path you take, but everyone gets there to be in the end. And this wasn't uh, the case for other uh, Age of Wonders games. Like, it was actually... Um, really cool, like, okay, you're playing with ice magic, so now you're trying to turn the entire world into Arctic, or you're playing with uh, fire, and now you're burning down all of the woods, and, and you're creating this volcano-like environment. I really like that, but again, like, it, it limited you from the other possibilities, and it gave path to replayability. So, oh, now I finished the game using uh, life magic. I want to try again another playthrough, and we can play with death magic. So, I, I don't know, it's, it's just, again, the, the way I feel about this game is that it does everything that it needs to do. Like, it, I, I can't complain about the gameplay or anything like that. I'm pretty sure there are balance issues, but I haven't found them yet. But, the, like, the charm is missing. Like, the, the, the whole magic, the, the whole wonder in Age of Wonders, I just don't see it there. And uh, I do think, like, these are the two points that I needed to bring up. But, uh, hey, you know, if you play the game, do let me know what you think. Uh, I personally will not refund it. I will keep it. And um, I'll see what the future DLCs have to bring. Because uh, th this issue is fixable. Like, if the community makes some good DLC, it may patch up the problems that I'm having with this game. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.